Republicanism. Republicanism is an ideology centered on a governmental system that is non-hereditary and opposes monarchism. It advocates for political power to be vested in the citizens of a state organized as a republic, where representatives are elected by the people to govern on their behalf. Many modern republics, such as the United States, France, Germany, Italy, and India, adhere to Republican principles by having non-hereditary systems of government where political power is vested in the citizens and exercised through elected representatives. Progressivism. Progressivism is an ideology that holds that traditions and customs from the past should not be considered sacred and should be valued less than societal progress. It is essentially the antithesis of conservatism, advocating for change and advancement in social, political, and economic spheres rather than preserving existing structures and values. Some countries where progressivism has had significant influence include United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand, Scandinavian countries, e.g. Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Imperialism. Imperialism, traditionally, advocates for a country to expand its power or influence through military action. While once popular, it has waned in popularity over the years. Imperialism is known for its advocacy of war and the belief that powerful nations should govern weaker ones. It often defends itself against accusations of oppression by arguing that colonized people benefit from the support and resources provided by wealthier nations claiming they receive things they wouldn't otherwise have access to. Some prominent examples of countries that historically followed imperialism include Great Britain, France, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Germany, Japan. Egalitarianism. Egalitarianism is a philosophical concept that prioritizes social equality for all individuals. It asserts that every citizen of a state should be granted equal rights and receive equal treatment under the law regardless of their background or circumstances. Nordic countries like Sweden, Norway, Finland, Denmark, and Iceland are frequently mentioned in this regard due to their emphasis on social welfare, gender equality, and efforts to reduce income inequality. Transhumanism. Transhumanism advocates for the use of technology to enhance human capabilities, aiming to overcome both basic and complex challenges faced by humanity. Its ultimate goal is for individuals to achieve immortality and possess highly advanced minds and bodies through technological augmentation. Transhumanism is not typically followed by countries in the same way that political ideologies are. Instead, it's an ideology or movement that is embraced by individuals, organizations, and communities worldwide. Communitarianism. Communitarianism is an ideology that prioritizes the well-being and significance of the community as the fundamental social unit. It emphasizes the idea that the traditional left-right political spectrum limits progress and that policies from both sides are essential for the community's benefit. Communitarianism argues against absolute individualism, asserting that it can be detrimental when it conflicts with the common good. Some countries may exhibit policies or cultural tendencies that align with communitarian principles more than others. For example, countries with strong social welfare systems and a focus on community well-being such as Denmark, Sweden, and Norway might be seen as exhibiting aspects of communitarianism in their approach to governance and social policy. Authoritarianism. Authoritarianism is a system of government characterized by centralized power, often wielded by a single authority figure, demanding strict obedience and imposing limitations on political and civil freedoms. Classic monarchies exemplify this form of governance, where the ruler holds significant power and may use it to imprison or persecute opponents in order to maintain control. Some notable examples include North Korea, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, China, the People's Republic of China, PRC, Russia, under the leadership of President Vladimir Putin, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Belarus, fascism. Fascism espouses the belief that people are inherently weak and divided, but can become strong when united under a singular banner, whether it be the state, nation, or military. Characterized by authoritarianism, it rejects the idea of multi-party democracy and concentrates power in the hands of a controlling government, often lead by a dictator. Fascism emphasizes a strong central authority, opposes the separation of powers, and prioritizes nationalism, advocating that a nation should prioritize its own interests above those of others. It often accompanies militarism, advocating for a powerful military to advance national interests. Fascist regimes employ forceful methods to suppress opposition and uphold a strict social hierarchy, promoting the collective good of the nation or race over individual interests. Fascism was historically adopted by several countries during the early to mid 20th century, most notably Italy under Benito Mussolini and Germany under Adolf Hitler. Nazism. Nazism, a form of fascism, places a strong emphasis on its racist ideology, asserting the superiority of the Aryan race. 
It advocates for the rule of the Aryan race over the rest of the world, reflecting ultra-nationalist sentiments. According to Nazi beliefs, individuals must possess specific characteristics to be classified as Orion, including being white, straight, mentally and physically fit, non-cowardly, and non-Jewish. Those deemed non-Aryan were labeled as Untermensch, or subhuman, and subjected to discrimination and persecution. Nazism also promotes eugenics, aiming to improve the genetic quality of the human population. People with hereditary traits deemed undesirable were considered useless eaters and were often subjected to extermination or sent to concentration camps. Additionally, Nazism harbors hostility towards homosexuals, viewing them as undesirable and unworthy. Nazism was primarily practiced in Germany under the leadership of Adolf Hitler and the National Socialist German Workers' Party, NSDAP, during the 1930s and 1940s. However, Nazism as a political movement and ideology is universally condemned today and is not officially followed by any country.